Good, uh, chatting to Dave over here from Dave's Country Kitchen, who is also one of the committee members for the Potato Fiesta this year. Dave, good having you here, and you are particularly in charge of the mountain bike race for this year, is that right? That's right, yes. We are doing two distances on Saturday, the 16th of June. Uh, there's a 30k for the intermediates, and there's a 60k long version for the more experienced rider. Um, I've done both routes, they are awesome. All right. I think they're great uh, marketing tools for Nathan. Up there, it's beautiful. It's a wonderful distance, a wonderful riding. But, okay, now, you mentioned the 30k head start for the intermediates. What do you mean by an intermediate? <laughs> it's for somebody that's just started riding, maybe, that's done to 25k's, they want to try something new, but it's not a serious race. It's a ride. It's what we call a fun ride in the, in the mountain biking fraternity. And um, it's got some nice hills, wonderful downhill, good famous good track. Um, a little bit of district road just to catch your breath and chill off a little. And yeah, test your skills a little bit. Okay, and now the route itself. Uh, obviously, it's through the farmlands and in the mountains a little bit, I'm assuming. Do you go through the town at all? Or? I've tried to stay away from the town because mountain biking is not about riding on tar roads, it's about getting out there between the beauty of the local country. So that's what I've done. You go up to the tower, you take a ride to go through. Four or five private farms, beautiful frameworks. Um, it's really, really stunning. Okay, well, that's the 30k. Now we come to the big one, don't we? <laughs> the 60k. That is, was a nasty laugh. <laughs> <laughs> the 60k is a portion of portage where basically you have to get off your bicycle and push it. Or some people might be tough enough to carry it. Um, and it does, it hurts a little bit, but once you get to the top, it's all worth it. There's some, some serious white knuckle downhill after that. It brings you out onto the Eden Road where you can again catch your breath. Uh, and then we do a few little minor rides, rides until we get back up to the school. Okay, now, you, you're saying we, am I assuming you're going to be doing the 60 day? Unfortunately not, I've got a restaurant to run, I've got a store at the front <laughs> and I'm organising the mountain bike ride. So unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to do both. Okay, but have you done the 60k route? I've, done, I've driven the 60k route and I've done portions of it. I've done the full 30k, so they're all rideable and they're all really exhilarating. I always like to check that because it's all pretty well when the guy who organises it, but the question, I, to me the question always is whether he's tackled it himself. Yeah, no, I've, done, I've done that uh, portage up the mountain and it is important. You have to get off and you have to suffer a little bit, but as I said, all work. Right, so we're saying that the 60k is a serious challenge. It is, it is. But it, that's all now we're talking about. Part of the Patafias, of course, is the marathon. He has an alternative to the actual pounding the pavement, pounding the road with your feet. You can actually ride it on your bicycle. Of course, yes. I mean, running is very different to cycling, but obviously, you know, your fitness levels are pretty similar. I mean, you'll be spending, I would say, two hours for 50k average. I would say for the 60, maybe a little bit longer, up to two and a half. Right, so it's a, pretty much a marathon in its own way. It is. It's a little mountain bike marathon. Well, that's fantastic. And you mentioned now, of course, you're not going to be because you're going to be in a restaurant. Uh, and hopefully, once the guys have finished the race, they're going to be hungry enough to want to come here anyway to feed themselves and uh, replenish, shall we say? I hope so, yeah. Well, I've been running the, the store that I've tucked for two years now, and every year it's got better. So I basically do um, bacon and egg rolls. And I've kept my price standard for the last two years, so I'll be doing the same this year. Uh, that is at the tuck. Um, and in that restaurant, it's a big house, so we just take the people that they Right, you're not going to have any specials for the weekend for the festival? It's, it's still a few days away, I might do a nice sweet potato soup. Obviously, we are in sweet potato country, so my sweet potato ginger and honey soup really goes down well. Fantastic table, great stuff. And